Good morning everyone and welcome to my kitchen. I'm John. Today we're going to make something special. We're going to make some vegetarian sausage rolls. Mainly because what they put in normal sausage rolls you wouldn't want to know about. Um, the meat isn't really mostly meat is it? But not when you start to read the label on the back. So here's a nice healthy alternative. Uh, this has got potatoes, onions, peas, and then a lovely range of spices. Fennel seeds, chilli powder, crushed ginger, cumin, garam masala, and mango chutney. It's going to be gorgeous. Come along for the ride, and let's get cracking. Firstly, with the potatoes. Okay, while the potatoes are boiling, and they're just about ready now, I'm just going to make the dip. For our sausage rolls, this is just some mint chopped up and some Greek style natural yogurt. Just add that, and that will make a lovely dip for our sausage rolls. Lovely. Mmm, so good. Right, now I've mashed the potatoes, and as you can see, it's still quite chunky. We're going to add the spices and our peas and a big dollop of mango chutney. Two big dollops, sorry. <laughs> Three. Beautiful. And now I'll add the spices and we'll combine them and pop them into the phyllo. Right, the phyllo pastry. So we've got, I've got two sheets here. <coughs> now to make sure that they don't dry out where I want them to, we just brush them with olive oil. Spoon this mixture in here because we're going to roll these up into sausage rolls or the equivalent thereof. We might lose something at the sides, I'm quite prepared for that. There you go, so we should get two quite big sausage rolls. Well, obviously we'll cut them, but... <coughs> so, roll them. Oh, already got a tear. Like this. Just be very careful and very gentle as you're doing this. So if you get olive oil into these bits early on, you won't get those splits because it'll make the, the phyllo much easier to deal with. So I'm just going to go and nuts some, put it all over here. Okay, so we're just going to keep rolling. There we go. And they're not too bad at all. So, here's the thing which you can see. 
profile there, but it's not too bad. So we can then cut these. So we're going to cut these into four sausage rolls so that they can be eaten with some uh, level of decorum. So they're starting to dry out already. <coughs> You'll get some idea as you go along. I mean, it's, I never get the pastry out ahead of time. Get it, get it out when you're just ready to use it. Um, and you'll need per length of sausage roll at least a tablespoon of olive oil to keep it nicely balanced there. Righty, yeah, we'll do the other one. Pop them in the oven, and then you can see the finished product. And then they're all rolled up and ready to go into the oven. And there you are, all fresh out the oven. A little bit of coriander garnish there and some um, sweet chilli sauce. Um, but we've just got our cucumber dip there for dipping. Right, enjoy folks and we'll see you on the next recipe.